you will be joining a movie called My Favorite Brunette, starring Bob Hope, Dorothy L'Amour, Peter Lorre, and Lon Chaney Jr. Boy, am I glad to see you. Arrest that man. He's a crook and a murderer. They're all murderers. Hold it, bye. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, thanks. You got here just in time. What is this? Why, well, the young fellow's a little mixed up, officer. I want you all to meet Ronnie Jackson, who's wanted by the state of California for the murder of one James Collins. Oh. Just a minute. You listen to that record, and you'll see who killed James Collins. Yeah, get the record. We'll play it. Who's who right to do? Oh, oh. Here, come, watch. Listen to this. Come here. Stay here, Jim. Yes, sir. He's mad. And that's not all I'll show you. I'll fix these characters. The man's plumb crazy. Wait, you hear this? I'll send all these guys to the cooler. That's right, Ronnie. You may be having a detective's convention, but I've been doing a little sleuthing myself in the modern way with a recording machine. Need any help? Give me that record. Back away, gremlin. All right. Gentlemen, the record you're about to hear not only clears me of a murder charge, but also exposes a tremendous international conspiracy. A conspiracy, gentlemen, which seeks to destroy civilization. Listen. He says murder, he says. Every time we kiss, he says murder, he says. At a time like this, he says murder, he says. Is that the language of love? No, this isn't the record. I've been framed. They switched the records on. Come on, but hey, no, wait a minute. If I, but, uh, just no. a minute, before you take them away, uh, in that pocket, he has something that uh, belongs to me. Give me that map. But it's not his, it's the Baron Montes. Ask her, ask Carlotta. Carlotta? Sure. Carlotta! Okay, an international conspiracy. He had the evidence on that record. It was like a tape recording machine, but they used records. And if you were watching carefully, Peter Lorre put another record over top of the record that had the evidence that would prove there is an international conspiracy. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about. So let me get set up here with the new setup. And I'll be right with you. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the one dollar bill. On the back of your one dollar bill, the Latin phrase, Novus Ordo Seclorum. Novus New, Ordo, Ordo, Order, Seclorum, Age, New Order, of the age. So let me explain that to you. Okay, now there are only two ages. This age this age or this seclorum and the next seclorum or the age to come the next age now this age is temporal the age to come is eternal 
and that's how time is divided. Now the difference will be, according to the Bible, when Christ returns. Then the new age will begin and Christ will be completely in charge of the earth and the entire universe which is basically going to be recreated into the new heavens and the new earth. And every single inhabitant of the redeemed of the names in the book of life. Now the trick is that the devil wants to disregard the second coming. And the devil wants to just take the temporal and turn it into the eternal and completely forget about the fact that Christ is coming and the eternal belongs to him. So the devil has been trying all through time to create the new age or the new order of the age here and now in the temporal so that as life goes on and the eternal begins, it will belong to him. And it's false. And all those who participate in this plot, they're participating in error and falsehood. Because Christ will come and Christ will claim the eternal. So, is there a conspiracy? And the answer is absolutely yes, there is. And if you go to Psalm number 2, verses 1 and 2, you will see the conspiracy in the Word of God. King James, why do the heathen rage? Now, the King James is an English translation of the Hebrew. The NIV translates it, Why do the nations conspire? And if you look at the verses, you'll see, And plot a vain thing. There's a plot. Now, where is the plot directed? Where is the conspiracy directed? against the Lord, God, and His anointed. Now, His anointed is Messiah, or Jesus. You might say, an Antichrist spirit. So the plot, the conspiracy, is against God Almighty and His Son, Jesus Christ. Now, that's the primary plot, the primary conspiracy. Now, secondarily, the plot or the conspiracy is against the entire population of any nation. And I don't care what nation you're in right now and you're listening to me. There's a plot in your nation against you because you're not in the club. You're not a member of this group that wants to conspire against God Almighty and wants to destroy His anointed, His Son, Jesus, and wants to bring about an Antichrist spirit on this earth. Now, later in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, the kings of the earth will join the merchants of the earth in a battle against God Almighty. So people want to dismiss those who want to at least mention and remind the world of a conspiracy, an international conspiracy like Bob Hope did in the movie, 
like his character, Mr. Jackson, and he had the evidence on her record, but he was made fun of, just like many of us are made fun of because we try to tell the world about all the hoaxes and all the lies. But there you have it, it's the Novos Ordo Seclorum. And you heard it mentioned in the movie, My Favorite Brunette, 1947. The good news of the Gospel is that it will not succeed because Christ will come back and He will be King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That is how it will all end. It will end with the Second Coming and the New Age will belong exclusively to the Anointed One, the Christ. If you're listening to this, I would encourage you to stay in Christ. And when you encounter an Antichrist spirit, know that it is a powerful spirit. But that spirit will not win. Because we have a King, the Lord Jesus, who's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and all of history. All eternity truly belongs to Him. Thank you for watching. End of video.